Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to do a collective reading. Keep in mind it is general collective. I'm going to take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. What is the energy surrounding the collective at this time? Undervalued, taken for granted, unequal give and take, not feeling appreciated. So tell them someone's taken your kindness for weakness. Somebody who's a big fat liar, habitual liar. Constantly lying, can't hide lies anymore. Lies are being exposed. Have you caught this person um, lying way too much? There was an unequal give and take. They did not appreciate you or value you, to be honest with you. Healing, reevaluating needs, self-care, self-love, moving forward. This is the position you're in right now. You're trying to heal from the situation. You're trying to figure out how to move forward. Maybe you're focusing on yourself. You're reevaluating what you want or what you desire. Cursed. String of bad relationships, karmic cycle, the evil eye. You could feel like you have had back-to-back -back connections with people that are all just liars. They're not being honest. They're not being transparent. Maybe they're saying they're single, but they're actually married. Maybe they're saying they're over their ex, but they're still hung up on their ex. They're telling you they're going to give you this, but they give you something else. There's something about uh, like back-to-back -back bad relationships here. Divine interventions. Angels are helping you. Trust the divine plan. Believe in miracles. So your guides have been trying to help you. Have you been seeing a lot of animals? You've been seeing a lot of different quotes or sayings repeatedly, a lot of numbers. You've been seeing objects keep showing up randomly. Maybe you're seeing like dimes or pennies. That's your guides trying to get your attention. They're trying to help you. Knowing the path, aligning with your purpose, accepting your story on the right track. With your disruption of these string of bad relationships, the universe is trying to make you pivot. They're forcing you to pivot. You keep going towards connections that are dead ends, connections that are not meant to be part of the long haul. They're just stopping points, but you're holding on trying to drag them into the long haul. And the universe is saying, they're not a part of your long-term soul's purpose. There's a reason why the divine keeps trying to roadblock these connections. What you feel is a curse could actually be a blessing in disguise from your guides. Secretly stalking, curious about you, not over you, checking social media. This is one of your exes. It's still holding on to you. They're lurking in the shadows. You maybe see them um, watch your posted stories, looking at your pictures. Maybe you know there's a fake account that likes every single thing that you post, everything that you put up, and you just know intuitively that it's your ex. It's that one that you had really struggled with letting go. You know that they're still stalking you. Broken promises, misled, trust is broken, unreliable. This could be your ex. This could be a lot of other people that were from your past. The ones that you felt were supposed to be genuine and honest, that were constantly lying to you. They'd say one thing, they'd do something else. They'd promise one thing, but they didn't come through. They said they were going to do something, but they never showed up. You could feel like... Romance is broken in your love life. We have pregnancy, getting pregnant, building a family, giving birth to something. You could be somebody who wants to have a family one day. Maybe you're consistently trying to find the person that you're meant to have children with. Um, maybe you already are pregnant, currently watching this video, that you've gotten pregnant by somebody from your past that promised to maybe marry you, promised to step up in some form or fashion.
Universe is saying you're supposed to be birthing something, but it may not actually be a child. It might be something else that's in alignment with your higher purpose right now. Dating, ready to start dating, meeting new love interests, getting over someone. You could be a serial dater. You could be somebody that has the motto, in order to get over somebody, you got to get under somebody. You could be somebody who, that's why you feel like every relationship you go into ends because you're jumping from one connection to the next. You're dating nonstop, not taking a break to breathe and understand why are they not working? Why are the connections not working? Yeah, not budging, refusing to change, stubborn, inflexible, standing your ground. This could be you feeling like it's always the other people, it's never you, instead of taking a step back and realizing the divine is not giving you a relationship for a reason right now. There's something on your journey that you're supposed to be aligning with, with your soul's purpose. Options, difficult decision, exploring possibilities, fear of choosing wrong. You may be somebody who has a lot of options. You may talk to a lot of people, know a lot of people, and you may find that it's really difficult because none of the options ring true to be what you're looking for, especially if you are somebody who maybe wants children, you're trying to have a family and you need a partner to have a family. You could be struggling strong with that. Spotlight, high profile relationship, power couple, people envy the connection. So this could be what you are jealous. You see other people as power couples. You see other people with their partners. You see other people post on social media about them and their significant other and how great their life looks. You know, of course, everybody puts their life out there on spotlight, but the truth is different behind the scenes, but they put the image or the persona of they, what they want people to believe. And you may be envious of people around you that have this so-called power couple relationship, and here you are separated from your person. Withdraw, disconnect, test of faith, relationship breakdown. So that's why you could feel cursed because maybe you have a lot of broken relationships that have been on a repeated cycle where they don't last very long. Protection. Don't want to hurt you. Protecting connection, protection over you. This is your guides. This is your guides protecting you because you're not supposed to be with these people that you keep going towards. These people are empty. These people are unhealed. These people are not a part of the long-term journey for you. They're not supposed to be a part of the plan. All right, well, let's get some advice for the collective that is dealing with this situation. What does the universe want them to do? They want them to align with their higher purpose and accept that they need to be on the track of focusing on yourself, not focusing on other people. Judgment, okay? You need to um, recognize that now is the time to work on potentially forgiving yourself Maybe you spent a long time with somebody and that that person was really secretive. They kept a lot in the past. They were somebody who your intuition knew you shouldn't have been with that person because they were a liar, but you held on hope that they would actually step up at some point. There's something about maybe even inner child here that you maybe want to forgive yourself for not being as confident as you should have been in the past. There's something about focusing on your life not your life with someone else. Being more independent. There it is. Finding that happiness within yourself. Being content on your own without a partner. Being emotionally stable. Being able to not be codependent because you need emotion from someone. But being able to find it within yourself. Finding that emotional stability and that inner joy. That zest for life all on your own without someone else. Regaining the stability and security that you need. There could be a business that you're supposed to start. There could be like a nonprofit that you're supposed to do. There is something that is requiring you authoritatively to step up and get comfortable in your own skin with your abundance first. And when you're secure in that, that will be when the universe will pivot you towards love. But for right now, this point in your life, you're supposed to be focusing on you and your own discipline within your own security in your own life. Not trying to bring somebody into it and hoping that they're going to give you what you want and desire. Everything has a plan laid out. And if you are dating, you keep hitting a brick wall. Instead of keep trying to hit the brick wall, step back 
and pivot in a different direction for yourself. Focus on yourself. Date yourself. How do you want to be happy? What would you want your future partner to do for you that you can do for yourself right now? That's going to make you love yourself, respect yourself, making you feel whole and complete. I tell clients all the time, you know, happiness has to be owned by yourself, 100% owned by yourself first. Because it's like a bank account. Once you lend it to someone else, they have that ownership. They can make deposits, make you feel content, make you feel joy, make you feel secure. But they can also do the opposite effect where they can make withdrawals. They can deplete you. They can completely bankrupt you. So it's always important to own your happiness on your own. And I think that's what the universe is trying to show you the signs and synchronicities, that there's a sense of you being able to enter this new phase in your life and finding the sense of stability and security with loving yourself, making you the priority for once. You've always made maybe everybody else in your relationship, everybody that you've dated, you've always made them the priority and they didn't value it. They didn't appreciate it. They didn't recognize it. It's because they're not the one that you're supposed to be with. They're not the one that you're supposed to be in alignment with for the long term. So the universe is saying for right now, you need to get really comfortable in your own skin with focusing on you and loving yourself and dating yourself. So let's get one animal oracle card of advice. What is the animal oracle card of advice for the collective at this time? What do they need to know? What do they need to hear that's going to serve their highest good? The Eagle Spirit, number 23. It says, Spirit has your back. All right, let's take a look at number 23. Okay, it says, Think of the eagles flying high above the other birds, soaring on the wind. Eagle spirit has appeared to ask whether you're willing to soar to new heights, even if that means solitude for a short while. Truly, all the wisdom of the world is available to you. When storms flash across the sky, it is the eagle spirit that raises you above it all, helping you conquer fear and overcome adversity, reminding you that spirit has your back and wants you to experience life at its fullest. At this time, you are meant to know that you have the highest of wisdom and courage within gifted to you by spirit and all the angels. Boldly build your nest in a lofty space and know that you can now fly effortlessly, proudly embodying Eagle Spirit in all her glory and grace, claiming that what is truly yours in divine timing. And this is perfect resonation of what spirit is trying to get you to understand right now that you need to be the eagle. You need to be able to build your own nest, your own abundance, your own satisfaction of life and loving life right now and focus on that for right now okay collective that is what i have for you if you do want your own personalized in-depth reading my website is timelessdivinetarot.com i do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround if you could please like and comment the video i would appreciate it have a great day bye